Hey Nation, what's going on? We are at Moody Gardens. The Ooh, aquarium at the Moody getting Gardens. Getting excited. <laughs> and here I'm with Brittany. Hi. Uh, she's an uh, Aquarius here. And this is Lola. Yeah. And Lola is, what kind of octopus is Lola? She is our giant Pacific octopus. Awesome. And if you guys are tuning in, let us know where you're tuning in from. And let us know if you have any questions too. So Lola is a giant Pacific octopus here. Is she the, the newly coveted frill giant Pacific octopus? Yeah, unfortunately, she is not. She doesn't have those two white dots uh -huh. that they said the frills have. So she is just your average giant Pacific octopus. So on the, the frills, they said that they had the, the skin mm -hmm. raises just above, above, above the, the eyes. eyes. So that's a, a current thing right now. Everyone's freaking out about <laughs> the new frill giant Pacific octopus. Lola is... Um, your standard giant Pacific octopus. How much does she weigh right now? Right now, we just weighed her last week, and she only weighs six point one pounds, so she's still pretty small. How um, about how big uh, has she been getting historically? Like how much weight has she gained? Um, it's right now. It's only been about a pound and a half a month. Uh -huh. So we got her a couple months ago when she was only three pounds. So three she, pounds? she was a tiny little tot. Awesome. Um, but we actually have trained her to get into this little blue basket over there. Uh huh. So she'll go in, um, get rewarded with a piece of food, and then we have a, a little bit of time to weigh her before she starts getting active and wanting to crawl out. Awesome. What sort of uh, enrichment activities do you do for her? What does she really like to do? Um, she loves her wiffle ball. Uh -huh. So uh, we'll stick, uh, stick some salmon or shrimp in here and she'll kind of play around with it just to get her food out. She also um, has a jar that she's learned to take the lid off of things. Um, we're still working on that one. She gets a little frustrated sometimes <laughs> with that new activity. Um, she has little textured rings that she'll play with and then a little speed bow also just for fun. <laughs> awesome. And she, she, I can see that she has, definitely has a personality. Yeah. What kind of personality does Lola have that you've seen in her instead of other octopuses? Well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, she uh, is. She's very outgoing, as you can tell. She's, uh, she likes people. She likes meeting new people. Um, she can tell uh, who people are by touching them. Really? They actually uh, taste and can recognize humans uh, with their suction cups. So she totally knows who you are. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. she does. Um, usually uh, on food days, she's super active. Um, she also loves to help me clean. Yeah. Every time I have to grab back the bottom of scrub, she likes to grab onto the vacuum and so go for a little ride as I'm cleaning the tank. Um, usually after feeds the next day, she kind of hides, digests everything, and she is a little more secluded. Um, but yeah, for the most part, <laughs> she's very outgoing. Awesome. Like to show off to the people. Is there any other sort of enrichment activities you do? Uh, you said you do the the ball. You said she likes to climb in a basket. Yeah, during when we weigh her. Okay. We'll use that um, as an enrichment activity, and then hopefully with live food, she will be able to use that as another enrichment. Oh, it's so form. awesome. You want some food? In addition, where's everybody tuning in from? If you could let us know. I see uh, Shady is in here. Good to see you. More babies. Yes. So somebody says, she sounds like me. <laughs> Where's everybody tuning in from so we can say hello from Moody Gardens here in Galveston, Texas. Has anybody been here to Moody Gardens? Say me if you have. Do you want to feed her? Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to feed her. We got North Carolina in the house. Hey, Katie, what's going on? Here's we're about to feed ball with some shrimp. We're about to uh, feed Lola. Uh, Brittany is just giving me a, a little whistle ball. And she... She, it looks like she's going down. She wants to play catch with it. Do you just throw it down there for her? or do you just kind of show it to her and usually she'll... Hey. She notices Ooh. that her horns are up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you should see, you guys, her, her, uh, just above her eyes, she uh, flexed... Well, she, she wants this. She yeah. I'm just going to give it. You, you, can, you can have that. <laughs> Go for it. And she immediately threw that back. Oh, yeah. She used her suckers like a, a conveyor belt and just kind of brought it straight to her mouth. What other sort of giant Pacific octopus facts do you know about? Um, well, just like <laughs> most octopuses, they do have the chromatophores. Uh -huh. So she's able to change right <laughs> yeah, her color pretty instantaneously. Uh, and they also can change the texture of their skin, as you can see. She uh -huh. grows those kind of ridges um, above her eyes. Uh, giant Pacific octopuses also have 
over 2,000 suction cups. Wow. Yeah. 2,000 so of these. Very strong. And each one, guys, each one is super, like, I mean, little you marks have, on yeah, you. like you can see, they're leaving marks on me. They're super strong. Do you know each, each sucker about how many pounds of force they're supposed to have? I'm not sure about that one. There are some Giant Pacific Octopus, when you get closer in, they say, they say that they have about 35 pounds of force. It's crazy. Wow. Can <laughs> so you imagine? <laughs> they say when, you, when they're in the ocean, they just like push rocks aside, super heavy rocks. Okay, we got people from Rochester, New York, Buffalo, New York. We got a lot of New York representing. It's cold there right now. <laughs> Rochester, New York, uh, Massachusetts, we got South Europe. Oh, cool. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Cool. So she usually likes to take her food and then she'll chipmunk it. Will I call it underneath it? Chipmunk, yeah, yeah. She looks like she has. This hides it underneath. Big old cheeks. <laughs> and if you guys can see in there, she is flexing her. Um, I think the skin is called uh, palpe, or how do you mm -hmm. pronounce it? Yeah. yeah. Where they just flex it up. Three different muscle groups that can expand the skin out and actually flex it to look like different things in the ocean, like different coral and super cool. How, about how long does it take her uh, when you give her the food to digest it? Just depends or? Uh, it depends. It depends on um, what the food is, but normally I'll give her that full a day to digest it. So I'll feed her three to four times a week um, and it'll be very between uh, clam, crab, shrimp, salmon, <laughs> mackerel, pretty much anything we have here, she'll eat. Awesome, and it says, uh, Karen asked, how old is she? Uh, we're not 100% sure, uh, but we got her back in June and she was three pounds, so I'm guessing because it takes 90 days for them once they're hatched to settle down somewhere, yeah. so probably almost a year. Awesome. Claudio asks, hi guys, may I ask you, how do you recognize a male from a female octopus? Yeah, so like we've been saying, she's a girl, but a guy uh, has a hectopotilus, which is uh, the tip of one of their tentacles that lacks the suction cups, which they use to transfer their spermatophores to the female wow. to fertilize the eggs. So one of the, one of the arms is a mating arm, Claudio, yes. called a hectocotylus. And Sherry says, was that her eye I just saw? Yeah, her, yeah. her eye's right down there. A little yellow white circle. <laughs> awesome. So what else is there to do here at Moody Gardens? There's definitely a, a here at the aquarium. What other exhibits do you guys have? At the aquarium? Yes. So our aquarium's broken down into different sections, so you can kind of see some fish from all over the world. So we have the North Pacific Gallery, which is where we are right now, that has um, different sharks, invertebrates, and fish, and then <laughs> we also have the Caribbean, which has our uh, million-gallon shark tunnel. So you're able to actually walk through the exhibit to get a really immersive uh, point of view. Uh -huh. um, we have the South Pacific area and South Atlantic as wow. well that has all of our penguins. So there's a ton of stuff to do here. Yeah. <laughs> after you see Lola. And then after that, if you're interested in land animals, we have the Aquarium Pyramid that has a... Uh, it's like a botanical garden with free roaming monkeys and birds and a sloth, which is really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so what's she doing now? She's just kind of... She's just trying to work and getting the shrimp out. Tracy asked, where did the bowl go? Did she throw it back? Um, when she's done, she'll release it and it'll float to the surface. But uh -huh. right now, um, until she's done eating, she just tucks it under her mouth trying to get all the shrimp out of the little slots in the wiffle ball. And I have to say, guys, Lola's probably one of the most playful octopus I've ever seen <laughs> at an aquarium. She typically, I mean, they'll come up, they'll, they'll touch you a little bit, but she just can't get enough of Brittany. Yeah. She's just like, hey, stay here, <laughs> let's like, play. <laughs> I feel like if she, some days I could just stay here all day and just kind of play with it. Anybody have any other questions for Brittany? We've got a bunch of people here on live. So Tracy says she's so jealous. <laughs> so is, what is what are her suckers feel like? Um, it's hard to explain. Uh, yeah. It really is. I don't know. <laughs> it's it honestly. Well, they kind of they're kind of smooth. They're they're kind of smooth, but really, what's what's interesting is that they they actually. Like, almost, um, yeah. almost like your thumb and your pointer finger. They, they can like yeah. turn into little pinchers. Like I don't they're, know if you can. yeah. I don't know if you can see up really close. 
but they actually kind of grab and, and kind of encapsulate your whole entire finger and pull. It's fascinating. Yeah. And somebody said, Claudia said, lovely, I never knew about the proper tentacle, but... <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So when, when you're here, what do you do to really teach about conservation efforts of, of octopus? Or just the ocean in general. Um, a lot of conservation uh, um, with the octopus, at least we do. Yeah, she's saying. You know. <laughs> yeah, she, we when, do. Th oh, go ahead. When I know, I was just gonna say when when octopus start doing that, that means they're like, eh, I'm kind of done. Yeah. I mean, Are or, you though? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe she just she wants you to protect want... you against me. Is that why she's like yeah. stranger? Who is she's, it? She's because she she has her siphon towards me, or maybe she's like, give me more food. I know. Are you still hungry? And she'll use that. No. Not hungry. I'm still working on this yeah. wiffle ball. Let's see, she seems to love you. Do you feel like she recognizes you, says Cindy? Yes, they do. They recognize uh, different humans, like I said, through tasting. So they can taste you with their suction cups. Um, so she can recognize new people. So sometimes when new people touch it, she was really into you. Yeah. But sometimes <laughs> uh, when new people try and touch her, she'll kind of slink back just because she's not quite sure who you guys are. Uh -huh. um, but yeah. She does recognize me. I work with her every day. But conservation-wise, uh, most of our conservation we do here is just through education. Um, unlike some other aquariums on the West Coast that have the ability to release their octopuses when they get to a good breeding age, um, just so they can help with the, pop the wild populations. Um, we just do uh, education efforts. Um, we do aquarist chats where I'll actually stand out and talk um, with different guests that come up and then uh, she also has an Instagram. Oh really? That I, What's her Instagram? Uh, I'm pretty sure it's just Lola the Octopus. Lola the Octopus. There you go. You, you can follow, follow Lola. Lola. <laughs> um, and then I just kind of day to day interactions with her and little fun facts just to educate people about octopuses. I think. There you They're can, the coolest animal. Oh, for sure, for sure. Look at <laughs> Not that. Not biased at all. You can see that ball. It's right over there. She's like has it like a little gumball over there. <laughs> She's still working on it. I think she's more interested in us now. She's like, okay, the ball's here, but you guys can see right here. That's where she has the wiffle ball where she's, she has it tucked in. She's so playful. This is amazing. And she's like coming straight I know, out. She's not even caring about the turf. Normally, I don't know if you guys can see, but the tank has the astro turf around it. Um, and octopuses are very sensitive to different uh, feelings. So normally this astroturf will, when she puts her tentacle on it, she'll feel it and be like, oh, I don't know, and kind of back off. But today she's way more interested in <laughs> us than the feeling of the turf. Okay, Lola. Getting a little friendly over here. She is. <laughs> it's, it's funny because typically when we're, when we, uh, or at other places, um, they, they might say hi, but then they immediately retreat. She is, she really wants to play. Oh, yeah. A lot of fun. Does anybody have any more questions for Brittany while we're still here? I want to, I want to make sure everybody gets their questions answered on live. So let's see what we got from people. <laughs> Who says LOL? Uh, she said, somebody said she's partying hard right now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she's definitely very outgoing. I wasn't here when um, our other octopus was here, uh -huh. but I was told that she rarely came up for She'd come up for food and like you said just kind of slink away so we got lucky she has a really good personality what when uh when you tell people let's see it says how long can an octopus be out of water uh, preferably not that long, not <laughs> not that long. <laughs> they do have a little bit of a slime coating on them so they have the ability to stay out for short periods of time but for the most part best to keep them in the water. Yeah, you see a lot of octopus in uh, the coastal areas of California. They have uh, on their skin, they can actually breathe through passive diffusion. Mm -hmm. So they can, you know, convert a little bit of oxygen while they're out, but they can't stay out for too long. Yeah. They have to have some amount of water touching them. Let's see. So it says, how far out has she ever come? <laughs> uh, well, she come, she'll come up on this flat surface. Uh, but she's never made it on the outside of the tank. No, so yeah. They just this little flat surface right yeah, there. We were, uh, uh, people earlier were asking about the AstroTurf. Why, why, again, do you have the AstroTurf on here? Uh, they don't like the feeling yeah, of it. Yeah, it's like a weird yeah. texture for yeah, it's just... octopus skin. Let's see. Um, I missed what type of octopus Lola is. She is a giant Pacific octopus. 
Like we were saying earlier, not the new yeah, she's frilled not, not one. Yeah, the frilled. Yeah, she doesn't have the, the branch uh, palpate above her eyes and the eyelashes. Um, let's see. Angel says, do you have any stories of Lola leaving the tank to visit others or to okay. walk about? <laughs> not leaving the tank, but we did at one point not realize there was a hole in the backdrop. So she found that hole and decided to live behind the backdrop. So we had these little holes because we had to cut out the backdrop and get her out. Are you just going to hide down there for a little yeah, bit now? Yeah, Lola, Lola has, has gone. Lola has <laughs> left the building. And then let's see. Stefan said, I thought they were considered arms. The, yes. Yeah, so a lot of people think octopus have, they're called tentacles, but they're, they're arms. Yes. So. Awesome. Well, we are going to... Sneaking down um, now. Like I said, if you guys want to come out to Moody Garden, see Lola. Oh, I'm going to make sure I don't hit my head. <laughs> see Lola. Back here. Come say hi to Brittany. Say uh, Octo Nation sent you. We'll have a ton, a ton of fun here. Lola's beautiful. Thank so you'll you. see her. And uh, so, yeah. So, thank, thank you guys for coming out. We'll thank see you. Guys. If you guys have any more questions uh, you want us to answer, uh, I'll, ask, I'll ask Brittany uh, behind the scenes uh, and we'll get some answers for you. But thank you guys for tuning in and we'll see you next time.